Hey guys, this is Josh. I'm going to weigh in on Matt's topic discussion for the week, which is really great. Thank you for uh, posting this, Matt. And uh, what it is is pick a, a battle you would want to see, a duel or a battle of some kind. Well, I'm going to have to go with AT-ATs again because I love them so much. But uh, here's the trick. Instead of having them fight on Hoth or fighting against rebels or something, they should have a prototype version of the AT-AT. And not the ATTE, but uh, like just like this, but maybe with a sleeker head. And uh, I was thinking that the guns should be different. Instead of just being the same old uh, heavy-duty blasters, it should be like a like a, a Gatlin gun on each side so that it can spray a bunch of uh, just rain down fire and that's what it's mostly for is cover fire and then what happens is at the Battle of Kashyyyk right when Yoda is uh, leading the battle in Revenge of the Sith and the Wookiees and the you know all the camouflage uh, troopers and stuff are fighting and then I think what should have happened is all the droids come pouring up over the beach and there's too many of them they're all gonna lose the Wookiees are all gonna lose then they call for reinforcements and a couple of AT-AT walkers come out of the out of the uh, trees they knock down all the trees and uh, they come stepping out because you know the trees are like you know 400 feet tall or whatever that these could come out and knock down a couple trees and then just start stomping on all the uh, the droids and I was kind of imagining it in my head that you know they're spraying fire and then the, the side hatch opens and we actually get to see um, some uh, the, uh, the, the the Marines, the Galactic Marines, you know, the, the guys in the purple, have them come out or ARC troopers or something really cool and uh, have them uh, rappel down and then start, you know, an attack of their own or just stay up inside and fire down at all the droids. And uh, I was thinking for a really funny scene, they could have a bunch of droid decas that are coming up and they're rolling to go kill some Wookiees. And as they're rolling up, the uh, AT, at bends its leg and then kicks one. I think something like that would be pretty fun. And then just start stomping them and stuff and just, you know, totally lay waste. And then for the first time, we would be rooting for the at ats instead of the, uh, you know, they're really menacing on the Battle of Hawk because they're killing the rebels and the music is all really menacing and uh, supposed to, you know, let you know that they're the bad guys. Well, uh, if they were fighting for the Republic, saving the Wookiees, we would, you know, that would be really cool. And also it would be a little bit of a hint towards Return of the Jedi when the AT-AT is on Endor. So uh, that's about it. Uh, as far as Kit Fisto goes, first time I saw him was Attack of the Clones. I remember him pushing down C-3PO or pushing another droid on top of C-3PO. I can't remember, but then he smiles. And so that made him stand out among the others, all the other Jedi. And uh, I really remember him from the animated Clone Wars where he was swimming and he could create force bubbles and then he could throw the bubbles and they would destroy anything that got in their path. I thought that was really cool and I, I never thought of that as a power before force bubble and uh, but over, he's a great character and I, I plan on getting some more action figures of him um, I wasn't able to get the vintage collection version so uh, that's all I got to say and thank you Matt for posting your topic